Hello friends today i bring to you a very special video login using app script we all know that to create a login page in app script is a bit challenging because for it limitation so i will show you how to create a secure login page using app script so going to the coding part first i'll show you how it's look like so now i'll be showing how it's work first of all i i copy the user id and paste it and then i will type password and uh, then i will click on login button and if it is match it should redirect it to the login page uh, main page and see here is the main page and if we refresh refresh it we are still in the main page so if i trying to go back to the login page uh, by typing in address bar uh, it should say that you are logged in go to the main page so it's working fine it's hold the session that we are logged in or log uh, log out so now uh, let's go to the coding part so so this is the um seat where we actually work and it has three fields that is email id password and name you may name it as user id password and user name whatever so i have uh, already filled up with one uh, entries and to go to the coding part we have to click on the extension and then app script so here is actual actual logic is written so this is the code js part and this is the login page page and this is the main page login page in the login page i've just written the uh, basic html code and some javascript i have used bootstrap therefore i have included CDN on the bootstrap and also for message i have used toaster.js so this is the css uh, code for styling and uh, act, and this is this this part is for the button that it shows whether we are logged in and this is the part where the login form appears and uh some js also included and this part uh, is loaded when document is executed when document is loaded and that means it's uh, uh check whether whether user is logged in or logged out uh, and this this part is uh, executed when submit button is clicked it it actually grab the value of user id from input text and also grab the password and it will uh, uh, store in user id and password very well and it will also check whether it is null or blank if it is blank then this message will be shown and then uh, the button login button uh, in, in HTML has been changed to please wait and it's disable disable has been made to true then I have called Google script run uh, with the function login check and this function I will explain in code JS part so so after executing the login function, uh, the result is, is uh, written back in data variable and data has two values, status and username. 
so uh, if you start status is true then the if block is executed now let's see code js part code js part here i have declared three variable spirit id my seat and url the spirit id is the id where actual uh, seat id and you'll get uh, from the url and this at this bar and this is the seat id and just uh, in your case just paste that id in this part and no need to do anything in this uh, my my seat you have to know not to do anything and url uh, and in this url you will get it from the uh, a link a link when you deploy the project since video is getting longer uh, i just want to tell you that to work uh, this project you have to just change the url link and spread id so let's see how you'll get the url link just go to the deployed then new deployed deployment and it will take some time uh, web app and just give it any name as you like and just deployment if it is a first time it will ask you for the access grant and here is just click the copy button and paste paste over it okay save it and if you paste the same link in that address bar, it should work. Well, I will provide the download link in the description box. Also, check out my page utechtube.com for more details. Thank you, and if you like, please subscribe.